I said that Eric Taylor better enjoy his turkey on Thursday, because Friday's gonna be his comeuppance. He quit on the Panthers twice, he quit on his own team the first game of the season, stole that boy Cafferty from us. Why don't you turn that stuff off? He's already in the playoffs, so this game shouldn't even matter. But it's all good, because he's... What? Just fine. Good. Hey, uh, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, come on in. No, yeah, I won't, won't take but a moment. Uh, uh, okay. Shoot, I know you live at least 50 miles away. It must be something important. Well, I can invite you into my home. Well, I just wanted to you know, see how you're holding up. Well, thank you. It's not blowing over like we, like we hoped it would. You saw the articles. Yeah, you see it? we need to set the record straight. But well, we think you need to make a statement. The sooner the better. I agree. I, I think I should. I'd like to get the facts out there. Good, good. Actually, uh, it's part of the reason I came over the board. We spent some time last night, a little overtime actually, drawing up something for you. And um, I'd like you to think about it, if you would. We, uh, we've lined up a reporter who's friendly. Oh, it's going to interview you. this is an you. apology. We have a friendly reporter who's going to interview you. The paper's going to you know, The paper's going to bury it in the Thanksgiving Day edition. Mm. The Panthers will be in the, in the playoffs, and everyone's going to be happy. Y'all are being bullied. And you'll get to and keep your job. I do live 50 miles away. The reason I drove here is because I think you're very good at what you do. I don't want to lose you. Well, I don't want to lose my job either, Paul. Look, I hope you take this very seriously, okay? I know you'll make the right decision. Give my best, Eric. I mean, this wasn't on school grounds. She's not my student. And, and I followed district protocol all the way. I'm not saying you don't have a case. Oh, OK, good. Uh, if you're telling me the whole story, I think you've got one hell of a wrongful termination suit. OK, th they're trying to tell me I've got to make this big public apology. Look, you don't need to make an apology. I don't. No. But if you don't and they take your job, I'll file that in court. And I got a pretty good idea we'd win. OK, good. But I want you to know something, Tammy. Cases like this can drag out take a long time. Well, what do you mean? I mean, when you say long time, is that months or? It could take years. And it's possible we could get you reinstated at the end of it all, but I doubt that. And then while the case is pending, you're, let's face it, you're going to have a hard time getting work as a high school principal when this is going on. My record is exemplary. I understand that, Tammy, but there's law, and then there's life. This has gotten out of hand. Well, they ought to find other things to do with their time, shouldn't they? You would think so. Grace. Where's the meat? I don't cook flesh, Dad. Your daughter made dinner because she knew we needed the help. Thank you so, so much. You guys are just busy, so I thought I'd help out. No. Oh, all right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hi. Thank you. You're welcome. That whole toothpick thing had everybody in an uproar today. You know, kids will be kids. What the lawyer have to say today? He had a lot to say. Well, I wasn't there. What did he say? I don't know, honey. Do we have to talk about it at dinner? No, I'm just asking. Did he say anything about the statement? I need to talk to somebody else. All right. Shh. 
Do you want me to get that? I'll get it. Thank you, honey. Hello? Lions suck! <laughs> hey, you know what? Okay, Go to hell. <laughs>